as we, humans of today, continue to evolve and drift further from our earliest Homo sapiens ancestors, there was a time in history when multiple hominin species roamed the Earth simultaneously. Among them, Homo neanderthalensis, Neanderthals, stood as perhaps our closest relatives on this complex family tree of humanity. First discovered in 1856 in the Neander Valley, or Tal in German, near Dusseldorf, Germany, Neanderthals have become synonymous with early humans. For years, they were dismissed as brutish, unsophisticated cavemen. However, modern science has revolutionized our understanding of them, revealing a species not only highly adapted to their environment, but also intimately linked to our own evolutionary journey. Neanderthals, scientifically named Homo neanderthalensis, shared a common ancestor with modern humans roughly 700,000 years ago. While distinct from us, they were genetically close enough to interbreed, and their legacy endures in our DNA. In fact, 1-2% of the DNA in non-African populations today comes from Neanderthals, influencing traits like immunity, skin tone, and even susceptibility to certain diseases. Neanderthals first appeared around 400,000 years ago during the Middle Pleistocene Epoch, likely evolving in Europe where they adapted to colder climates and harsh environments. Over the next several hundred thousand years, they spread across Eurasia, thriving in diverse landscapes from forests to tundras. Their extinction approximately 40,000 years ago marked the end of a species that had endured for more than 350,000 years. To put this into perspective, modern humans, Homo sapiens, have existed for about 300,000 years. But our global dominance only began around 70,000 years ago. By comparison, Neanderthals had already been thriving across Europe and Asia for hundreds of millennia before our species began expanding out of Africa. The world of the Neanderthals was vastly different from today's. They lived through ice ages, when massive glaciers covered much of the northern hemisphere, and Eurasia was a land of extremes. Winters were long and unforgiving, with temperatures often plummeting below freezing while summers were short and cool. The land teemed with megafauna, giant mammals like mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and cave bears that were both a source of sustenance and a constant threat. Surviving in these conditions required remarkable ingenuity and resilience. Neanderthals were not passive inhabitants of their world. They actively shaped it. They were skilled hunters, adept toolmakers, and, as recent evidence suggests, capable of symbolic thought and cultural expression. Far from the simplistic image of cavemen, Neanderthals were intelligent and resourceful, crafting tools, controlling fire, building shelters, and possibly creating rudimentary art and ornaments. Often referred to as our sister species, Neanderthals shared a close evolutionary relationship with modern humans. Both species are believed to have descended from a common ancestor, Homo heidelbergensis, between 600,000 and 700,000 years ago. While Homo sapiens evolved in Africa, Neanderthals evolved in Europe and Asia, adapting to the colder climates with their stocky builds, thick bones, and robust physiques. Despite their differences, Neanderthals and modern humans had much in common. They used tools, cared for their sick and elderly, and may have engaged in ritualistic or symbolic behaviors. Evidence from burial sites even suggests that Neanderthals may have intentionally buried their dead, a practice linked to symbolic thinking and a possible belief in an afterlife. This richer understanding of Neanderthals sets the stage for exploring the unique adaptations and remarkable traits that allowed them to thrive in their challenging world, as detailed in the following chapters. On average, Neanderthals were shorter than modern humans, standing about 14 centimeters, 5.5 inches, shorter than post-World War II populations. The tallest known Neanderthal specimen, a mud one, a height comparable to modern athletes. Despite their shorter stature, Neanderthals were significantly heavier. 
Men averaged 83 kilos, 183 pounds, while women weighed around 66 kilos, 146 pounds, about 20% heavier than the average modern Homo sapiens. This weight difference stemmed from their extraordinarily robust skeletal structure, with bones that were up to twice as dense as ours. Their thick femurs, rib cages, and shoulders made them far more compact and durable, comparable to modern strongmen like Hafthor Bjornsson or NFL linemen. Neanderthals were incredibly muscular, a necessity for their survival. Their upper body strength, particularly in their arms, was extraordinary, almost comparable to fictional characters like Popeye. This robust physique allowed them to wield heavy spears during close-range hunts of massive prey such as rhinoceroses, horses, and woolly mammoths. Estimates suggest Neanderthal men could bench press up to 200 kilos, 500 pounds, without training the weight of a piano, while women could manage around 160 kilos, 350 pounds. For perspective, less than 0.1% of modern humans can bench press that much. Neanderthal's high muscle mass and large body size demanded immense energy. Estimates suggest they consumed between 4,000 and 500 and 6,000 and 700 calories daily. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps famously consumed up to 10,000 calories during peak training, making Neanderthals' dietary needs astonishing for pre-modern humans. Their shorter legs, less efficient Achilles tendons, and fast twitch muscle fibers favored explosive bursts of speed over long-distance endurance. This made Neanderthals perfectly suited for ambush hunting and short chases, though less capable of marathon-like pursuits. Neanderthals lived alongside megafauna, massive animals that dominated the Ice Age landscape. These included woolly mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, aurochs, and giant deer. While these creatures were a critical food source, they also posed significant dangers, as many were capable of defending themselves with deadly force. Despite these challenges, Neanderthals survived and thrived, showcasing their strength, adaptability, and resilience. Their interactions with these creatures shaped their extraordinary physiques and strategies for survival. Neanderthals' lives were fraught with danger, but their ability to recover from injuries was nothing short of extraordinary. Between 79% and 94% of their skeletons show signs of extreme trauma, fractures, amputations, and other severe injuries that had completely healed. One remarkable case involved a Neanderthal who survived despite losing his right arm in youth, suffering a broken clavicle, becoming blind in one eye, and being deaf in both ears. Such cases demonstrate not only their physical resilience, but also the care they received from their communities, as surviving such injuries would have required significant support. This resilience extended to encounters with Ice Age predators. An estimated 74% of Neanderthals survived violent encounters with animals like cave lions, dire wolves, and cave bears, creatures capable of inflicting life-threatening injuries. Their ability to recover and adapt was critical to their survival in a hostile environment. Neanderthals' robust physiques were supported by equally remarkable respiratory systems. Their barrel-shaped rib cages housed larger lungs than modern humans, providing them with greater oxygen capacity. On average, their lung capacity was about 20% larger than ours, with some individuals, like the male specimen Kabara II, estimated to have a capacity of 9 liters, about 40% greater than the modern human average, their prominent noses, long and wide further enhanced their ability to warm and humidify cold air, making them well adapted to icy climates. This combination of larger lungs and efficient nasal structures allowed them to excel in high-intensity activities like sprinting and close combat hunting, while maintaining the stamina needed for tracking prey over long distances. Neanderthal's hands were uniquely adapted for strength. 
Their wider fingers and broader thumbs gave them powerful grips, well suited for wielding heavy tools and spears. While they may have lacked some of the precision of modern human hands, their raw power made them highly effective in their environment. In addition to their hands, Neanderthals used their teeth as a third hand, manipulating objects while keeping their hands free for other tasks. This adaptation is evident in wear patterns on their teeth, which show evidence of holding and cutting materials. Such ingenuity highlights their resourcefulness and ability to adapt to the demands of their harsh environment. Neanderthals had larger brains than modern humans, with males averaging 1,640 cubic centimeter and females averaging 1,460 cubic centimeters, about 30% larger than the modern human average. However, their brains were structured differently, emphasizing the occipital lobes, which enhanced their vision and spatial awareness. While modern humans have more developed frontal lobes for abstract thought and planning, Neanderthals' brains prioritized sensory and visual processing. This may have limited their capacity for abstract or symbolic thought compared to Homo sapiens. However, discoveries of art, ornaments, and burial practices suggest they were capable of symbolic expression and possibly even early forms of cultural identity. Although Neanderthals went extinct approximately 40,000 years ago, their legacy endures in our DNA. Most non-African humans carry 1 to 2 percent Neanderthal DNA, a result of interbreeding between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens as our species migrated into Eurasia. This genetic inheritance has tangible effects on traits like immunity, skin tone, and even susceptibility to certain diseases. Genes associated with the immune system such as those involved in detecting pathogens, are directly linked to Neanderthal DNA. These adaptations likely gave early humans an advantage when encountering new diseases in unfamiliar environments. However, some Neanderthal-derived genes are also associated with an increased risk of autoimmune conditions like Crohn's disease and lupus, reflecting the trade-offs of evolutionary inheritance. Neanderthal DNA has also influenced traits like skin pigmentation, hair thickness, and fat metabolism helping early humans adapt to colder climates. These genetic markers still shape our biology today, influencing everything from vitamin D absorption to body fat distribution. In 2010, researchers sequenced the Neanderthal genome, opening new doors to understanding their impact on modern humans. Ongoing studies continue to explore how Neanderthal DNA affects gene expression, disease susceptibility, and even neurological conditions. The Neanderthal Genome Project has revealed a complex web of interbreeding between ancient human species, further deepening our understanding of this fascinating chapter in our evolutionary history. Neanderthals were extraordinary examples of nature's ingenuity. Their physical strength, intelligence, and resilience made them unparalleled survivors in one of Earth's harshest eras. Living among megafauna and Ice Age predators, they thrived through their adaptability, teamwork, and remarkable ability to recover from severe injuries. Though their extinction remains one of history's great mysteries, their story is a testament to the adaptability of hominins. Far from the brutish cavemen of outdated stereotypes, Neanderthals were intelligent, resourceful, and astonishingly resilient, a shining example of what it means to thrive against all odds. Their legacy endures not just in our DNA, but in the shared story of humanity itself. Neanderthals remind us of our connection to the past and the resilience that defines our species. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the echoes of our planet's past. If you found yourself captivated by the stories of lost creatures and ancient landscapes, we invite you to explore even more of our videos right here on the screen. Take a moment to dive deeper into the forgotten tales and the mysteries of the natural world. Your thoughts mean the world to us. Let us know what you think or share your favorite stories in the comments below. Don't miss out on future explorations. Be sure to subscribe to Endling Echoes and join us as we continue to uncover the beauty and sadness of extinction. Until next time, keep listening to the Echoes.